black and salmon and shrimp, potatoes. I really want that dirty rice. And that's another thing, too. I don't like the way he ordered. <laughs> like, Wait a minute. Well, no, 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 no. no. <clears throat> How hellified was this meal that it canceled out his outfit? Because you automatically know. Oh, it was noticed. fat. It was, if the, if the bar is 10, 10 out of 10. Okay. Best okay. meal I had in a while. Okay. You know? Okay. Um. Cause I, you know, I, I don't really eat out as much Did lately. He, you know? he might as well because <laughs> that dude had a Velcro wallet. The when I heard the snap, <laughs> so the shoes matched the wallet. So he was matching the shoes matched well, the wallet. I was kidding about the shoes being Velcro. It was like some weird whatever. But when I heard the snaps unfold, when that mug was trying to, bro, I'm laughing at that. My father used to almost carry a choked. My father used to carry a wallet like that. Boy. But so, your you know, father is older. Older, yeah. So you know what I'm saying? That was something like a but and he, he already had he, his woman. If he had had been had, you know what I'm right. saying? They, and neither one of them were going in. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. He was married, you know, so he, he could have did whatever he could have came out with a, a bag <laughs> of a of his <laughs> Right. He could have did that. But dude, you is on the dating scene and you unsnapped a maybe wallet. He wanted, maybe he wanted you to love or, or know him unconditionally and be able to accept him as who he was. He almost got left. <laughs> no, I'm going to just say that. Because then he was like, well, I don't got no AC. What? Like, he like, you, you you can get in my van. What? The van. It, van. The old school. And then the, the van, when, van, when the I rolled up, with because the, at that point, I'm like, you the can swing, with, the, with the swing doors? I, look, at that point, he was like, uh, you, you have to step up. <laughs> you got two options going you were, forward. You were wearing heels, weren't you? You know I was. <laughs> you know I was. First of all, you already know the dress. It was <laughs> ba -da -ba -ba -ba. and no AC. No AC in heels, and you mm. and you, <laughs> you be so shaking. Fellas, from one, I'm just saying, from your sister, your homegirl, the girl from around the way. Please elevate. If you don't know, start using Pinterest. Follow what's the guy name on Instagram that we always be making. We make fun of him. Um, the the Carpe D. Where you him? Man, them, them last couple of ones though been missed for me. But anyway, yeah, that, was that was a mess. All right, that was a mess. We worked hard on this segment. We meaning the show, okay? Those that contributed to the content. <laughs> Shots fired. Pew, 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 pew. Sorry. She's, she's saying content text at like three thirty in the morning when nobody else is awake. Cause when you, whenever you get up and you see it, you gonna holler at me and I'm gonna be like, nobody Good. else is awake. I send them notes. This, this you one right you here. You haven't sent me any notes in the past week. You haven't even. Well, sent I've been me, occupied. You haven't even I sent do, me typically. any reels. And be like, oh yeah, I'm like, you haven't sent. Well, you've been kind of busy, my. Don't make me. Don't go there <laughs> with me, okay? Anything you want to get off your chest? Yeah. Get oh me Lord. Yeah. Anything you want to get off? Be slacking. This. <laughs> Okay, ooh, no, ooh. not going there. Let me tell you another thing, too, fellas. Keep a real one on your team because when you can't, you can't go ham, she gonna go ham. Man, Let I'm me. going ham for my my dudes. <laughs> I be going ham. Be like, keep fucking around. I'm let you out. I'm gonna let her off leash. We should get a buddy <laughs> pass to Atlanta. I'm just saying, whatever. We on that. <laughs> we stay ready. Cancer season been cancering because my girl Hard. Cash. Absolutely radiated. Uh, her birthday st stuff was like a movie. Mm. I'm telling you, it was so. I was like, yes, the was look, this was this the vibe. Um, yesterday, mm. everything starting like Friday, I think. But everything cancers right, lately. So I only get select invites. Shut up. <laughs> um, my sister cancer. My favorite sister is a cancer. So shout out to you, cancers. Y'all doing y'all thing. I'm I'm here for it. It's a vibe. All right. Do's and don'ts of dating before we get into this last little <laughs> series. Okay. Let's just talk about long distance dating. It's a hard hustle. It's hard out here for a pimp. It's a hard hustle. What? Especially when you're not taking regular scheduled trips to like be to here meet or be each there. Yeah, to right. meet up or you know, something like that. That's that's hard. So in between the meetups. There has to be connection building, right? Facts. You, can't you have to, saying. right. Because you, you, you really want to mimic what you would do or at least showcase what you would do when y'all when to together. Yeah. So is it safe to say that if you sign up to date long distance that you got to really kind of commit almost, you know, to putting in the work? If you're, yeah, to put in the work, yeah. But if you're just dating, you can't go too far because, you know what I'm saying, you can't be exclusive with somebody that you haven't discussed that with long distance. And you missing on your beat, you know what I'm saying, in your local hometown. So, that's true. But, 
you know, most people operate under the, and this is me. And like I said, I don't bash on this show. Here we go. But I'm just saying, a lot, a lot of y'all live by that out of sight, out of mind. What Here she won't go. know. Look won't who's hurt talking. Her. Look who's talking. One of the biggest pimps I've ever known is sitting right next to me. I heard what say, I don't know what you heard about me. One of the biggest. <laughs> date them all. What I said, date them all. Date them all. <laughs> Said, date, date them all. Hype me over the minute. Look, date and lately it's been date them all. Date none of them because once date one of them get on my nerves, the, uh, the next ten guaranteed get on my nerves. They they get they they have the trickle down effect. They get on her nerve for different reasons. She whack all of them. Be a new right. roster. Be a and new I got, roster. And I got some hitters on my team now too. So it's like <laughs> I ain't even got to do my dirty work. Some these dudes will take out the trash for me. Like I'm trying to take out some trash, but then I'm trying to be respectful <laughs> because I don't know. You know how? No, no, no. I'm not going to. No. But let me just say this: If you ever run across this broadcast and you see this man's face on here, just know we're talking about you. Okay. <laughs> if you ever you, see it. if you ever run <laughs> you across ever this broadcast <laughs> on YouTube, follow uh, intellectualradio.com keyword everyday conversations because it's out there. We're talking about you. You know we're talking about your ways. Yeah, we just talking about you. So I just want women. Do what you say you're going to do. Make it a little easier on the brothers. You know what I'm saying? They be trying. Some of them try. Some of us try. We do. I can vouch for him. He tries. You know, he puts his heart into what he's doing. But this show ain't about him. It's about collective men as a collective. Why you can't never give me two seconds? I mean, that was too too, many, too many Two whole seconds. What, you think my ear going to get bigger? Uh, Because it's, uh, what's the word? Expanding. It's expanding like I'm. If mine doubled, it still wouldn't be the size of yours. You heard what Beyonce said. <laughs> I got a big it ego. It still wouldn't be the size of yours. But I could back it up. Mm. I never said you could. You know what I'm saying? I'm right, just saying. Easy, easy, easy. All right. If y'all want to um call in and be a part of the live conversation, you can give us a call at 708-223-8953. This is the last week of our series, The Makings of a Real Man. Oh, mm. it's been a great mm. series so far. Um. But we have a couple of things that we want to kind of talk about today. Men and generational wealth. Mm. You got to start, but you got to make a conscious decision to build that. Because if you just, that nine to five, yes, it'll sustain you, but yeah. you might have to step outside of that some way, shape, or form. So it's going to have to be something drastic. If you, if you do not follow crew season, or Trill AC, yes, I plug him every show, I know. But I love him. And he has some of the most profound perspective. Um, and I like that he's not um, just male. He's, don't get me wrong, he's a man, okay? But he's not a male chauvinist. He doesn't um, tip to just the male point of view. You know no, what I'm saying? He's no. all inclusive is the word I was trying to find. So when you're thinking about building generational wealth, the first thing you got to do is break some generational curses. curses. Facts. You know what I mean? You can't keep saying the same pattern. You can't do what your parents... Well, you I thought you were going to say pattern. I was going to kick you off the show. <laughs> she acts like I have no home training. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying. Pattern. I wasn't... I didn't say that, though, did I? I can articulate. Pattern and... Uh, what's up? Conversate. Those are not words. But anyway, <laughs> go ahead. I'm sorry. I didn't no, I'm saying you have to break... What's been done before. Yes. I mean, don't get me wrong. Some of our parents did the best they could. And that was all they could do. So, true or false, the statement. Men leave the breaking of curse, of generational curses up to women. Like they're false. more hands off. Okay. False. Now, are you I going just your in your personal or are you going personal opinion, collective? In my personal opinion, your as, personal, a collective, okay. as a I think <clears throat> I think more men... Are now taking the initiative to like, all right, this grind is killing. I'm, this grind is killing me on a day to day. I don't want my mm -hmm. kids to see, you know, what I'm saying just a homework, homework, homework life. I want to do something outside of that, so they can see something else outside of that. Okay. I mean, even to this point, my daughter is talking about, you know, what I'm saying different things and different avenues as ways ways to make income. Mm -hmm. She's seventeen. She's not even seventeen yet. That's what's up. She's not even seventeen yet. She's like, I like to do this, I like to do this, and I'm interested. Hats in this. off to you, parents you know who keep, have done and, a good job. You know, job. What I'm saying she she keeps, you know, what I'm saying want to, you know, what I'm saying push herself further exactly. and further, right? So you know, what I'm saying dip her hat and everything, you know, what I'm saying to find a bunch of things she loves and then go. Right. So the concept this week, our guest was going to come on. Like I said, our guest uh, is the ultimate. I call her the ultimate boy mom. Okay. And not only was she is she a boy mom, but she was the ultimate daddy's girl. You know what I'm saying? Like her father, who like you. may he yeah, may he rest in peace as well. But he was a great 
present father. And it wasn't just in his household. He would come down the street and give us a ride where we needed to. <laughs> we was at the library, and I worked at the library for a while. The place where you got to be quiet at, they let me work there. House. And I was never quiet. Houseway. Uh, I'm just saying. you know, I was a pretty face at the front desk, circulation. Houseway. Um, so when I say it takes a, a real man to stand up, and go outside of just his, his household. Yeah, his dominion. You know what I mean? Yeah. We saw that growing up. That was a good example. So the concept of having her on the show to talk about raising the next generation of the man, which all of those things are going to be important when you start thinking of breaking generational curses. Truly. You have to look at what are you passing down to these young men. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And the one thing that irritates me. what you're passing me, down, but what, what are you representing? What are they seeing that, on a day-to-day basis? There you go. Basis? Yes. What they see on a day-to-day basis. Kay Michelle had a song that came out years ago that can't said, raise Can't Raise a Man. Now, her vocals. <clears throat> Stop. I love Kay. Stop. Don't get me wrong. I love Stop. I love Kay post and pre uh, <laughs> did you surgery. Have to, what, I did. Really? I love you, Kay. Love, I love your country music, too. All I'm saying is this. The, the concept of that song is you can't raise a man, but if you can't, who will? If you don't, who will? Like you just said, what will they see? TikTok. Um, Social media is a huge presence on our kids. Games, the gaming systems and all of those things, those games that's on there. They are not, yes, they're educational games that are available. Is those yeah, the games that they're going not, after? No. They're playing, no, they playing Grand Theft Auto. Man, <laughs> LeBron them. Uh, uh, speak of LeBron. First of all, everybody that's spelling nepotism wrong, use Google, okay? <laughs> that's the first thing. Look, look. But why is it wrong for him to put his son on? I mean, it's, it's not wrong. It's not wrong, but... But what? I think if he was going to put your son on that stuff, that, that tough, you should have been out the league. Because you basically said, <laughs> either you, put him on, you put him on his team, <laughs> we, or I'm out. You know, did, you know what it is. You know what it is, He did, like, uh, he did a D-bone on him. He, no, he did like my, uh, like Will and Martin. We ride together. We <laughs> Man, put my son on the roster, uh, and I'll consider coming back for a couple of hundred million for the next few years. That part, too. Come with it. Come but with leaving it. a legacy and breaking these, cor- these curses. A legacy is not just a business it's that not. you're passing down. It's, it's not, not just money in the bank. No, it's not. Okay, it's it a, is, also a state of mentality. That's number one. It's definitely life enhancing skills. I told y'all a few weeks ago about the guy who had to call roadside assistance to change the tire, and a girl rolled up and changed the tire. <laughs> He's standing out there recording her. We was on the. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, you're about to get an uh, uh, accurate triangulation of your location. Yeah, you don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. You're slipping. Saw it. You're slipping. I am. You know what you're I'm saying? And I, you're, slipping. you're slipping. I leave the, I'll be leaving the door open. Okay. <laughs> Another thing is. They don't even leave it open no more. It's bruh, the man, my dudes. <laughs> can y'all teach y'all boys about when it is appropriate? And make sure it's, I mean, yeah, people say, well, I'm going to let the, his father teach him about sex and dating. But let the mama weigh in, too. But, men, show up when these tough conversations are needed to have. I think they'll make know? it easier. Because if the mom is having that tough conversation, that, that quote, unquote, birds and bees and pops are sitting there, you know what I'm saying? So it just makes it easier for everybody to communicate. Get it? But okay. it's beyond just the birds and the bees at this point. Because the birds and bees just telling you that they got something different than you got. Nah, and you going to want to, you know what I'm saying? Nah, that's, that's, the, that's the basic perimeter of that's the birds. That's what I'm saying, but I mean. Deep into the, the birds and the bees is all of You got to come from the front to the back, the root to the tutor. I'm just saying, you know, you got to you gotta really lay some groundwork on do's and don'ts of sex. What sex really is. Don't be hands off. You know, don't just be like, you you lay down and what's up, shorty? You know, <laughs> no, it's more than that. Okay, Who, sex is anybody a, out there teaching us on how to stroke. Soul ties are real. They are. They are they so are. real. And once you let that in, it's hard to get that up off. <laughs> I'm in medical school and it's hard. Okay, um, money management. Mm, that's a big one. That's that's, something, that's probably number one. That's something that I wish my parents were more hands on with. I mean, I saw them, you know what I'm saying, succeed and stuff like that. Yeah. But they didn't, you know what I'm saying, open up the books and was like, this is how we did it, you know. Yeah. They didn't I tried to have that conversation with my mom a few years part. ago, and I almost got strangled by a four foot nine woman. <laughs> <laughs> she was on your she was, she was like, what you be? I was like, uh, slow down, little lady. I you think, know. I think the more, 
awareness we have when it comes to our finances on how our parents do the day to day stuff. I think it'll make our kids more prepared for when they get out there to that point because you know Absolutely. they just see their parents go to work. They don't know how hard their parents work. You know what I'm saying? What they Absolutely. did to get that check. They just know the lights and everything. Game. So here's the thing: it goes from as a kid watching your parents go to work, right? Now you're an adult, and it's now you're responsible to pay for somebody. Wig. Wishing that saying I wait, can't, can't wait, so I'm getting grown. You heard me for somebody's as... wig. That's your next responsibility. Watching your parents get up and go to work, <laughs> making it happen for you and your household. And now you're an adult, and some girl is in top of some cash, cash out me five hundred dollars for your wig. And My then, baby daddy told and me then that. And then extra three hundred for the install. Yeah. 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 Right. All, what? How long is this hair gonna last, you sweetheart? I'm gonna if you paying fat sir, bruh, my boy. If you pay five hundred dollars for a woman that you're not married to, wig, mm. I'm gonna need you to go watch YouTube University. You better be in there installing that glue and putting that crap <laughs> on their forehead, okay? Um, yeah, I mean it's it's okay to treat people and do nice things, but we be, can't be, let just be cash just be a, just be aware. I mean, Cash App and Zelle shouldn't be thinking off. You know, say every time you just, you need something, every time you think you that that shouldn't be the situation. That don't mean you a man. No, I don't. Because you get somebody five hundred dollars for whatever they say they need it for. Because if you, I'm I, look, I ain't trying to take the food out of the beautician's <laughs> mouth or nothing like that. But five hundred dollars to put on something that's already constructed. That ain't chosen. That ain't you. That ain't my ministry. But hey, whatever. <laughs> and then a, another thing that came up on this list, and again, shout out to Trill AC Smooth, uh, all of them on crew season. Another thing that I, and these are just a few things that I picked out of the entire uh episode the last one was domestic duties mm. man as a woman who does it for herself because i have to even when i don't get it i gotta get it you know what i mean like you can't just unless you just want to be out there on whack a drive y'all know how i feel about whack a drive i'm scared yeah. of it to this day even driving on like <laughs> you know it, it was a wake-up shock to me and i was telling the guys with yesterday um, a story about when my niece was about five or six and we it was like her first time downtown and we saw, you know, we was walking somewhere and there was a guy laying on the bench and yeah. he was asleep, you know. And so she was like, why did that guy sleep on the bench? Before she could, before we could say anything else, she was like, oh, it smelled like pee. You know, so it's just like <laughs> being shocked, you know what I'm saying? Exposed Don't make to them so sensitive. I mean, you got to expose them to certain things at, at a certain time. I mean, but. Okay. That one, that was just, you know what I'm saying, circumstance. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you obviously. Like you know what I'm saying? That was just but, like, oh, he just pissed himself. That's what that was. Or a collective collection of peas. You know, I whatever. want a collection. Mm, just marinate. But I'm just saying, like, kids will teach you. They will humble you quickly. You know, when you ain't doing something like, well, my daddy at my house, my... Yo, daddy. Yo, at, your, at, at, <laughs> at, at your house. But... We'll take a little rug ass Right. Here. If you are teaching your sons and daughters like because i feel like men can be instrumental in their daughters lives too yeah it's not definitely. just the oh i'll take care of the boys no no, no. men can be instrumental in their da daughter's lives too so making sure that they have the information that they need like sir you out here dating but you got all these skills you can clean some men clean better than women i told y'all about my friend who told me he went to this girl house and he was like, "What is the Chicago Board of Health?" <laughs> for real, for real. He was, was she like, "Single." And he was like, "She was almost 50. She was single. Did she have any kids? She do have kids. Uh. He was like, "The hot dog paper was." Mm. I go, go I, 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 I've known, she might run across this I've broadcast. Known, I've known some single women, not all, some mm. single women who don't have any children. Apartment be like a world. Like, damn. What, what My sister told me that once. That she was like. Why is the living room? Because I am a I am a creature. A uh, dress will be dropped in the living room on the floor, and then Tuesday another behind one. A, a couch, a pair of shoes. Yes, the, the shoes, the car, the car look. I'm like, how many outfits? Bras. How many outfits do you have in this front seat? And why I can't see the seat because you got cups. I feel and like shoes. shots fired. I mean, this man bang, is gonna bang, get beat bang. up. <laughs> this man figured beat you up on real life, and then the way he was about like, to do nothing. And then I trick, I look not trick, but. Some nice young gentleman was at the uh, uh, car wash there. <laughs> he was like, he took oh, pity I on mean, her. He, did. And he was like, he was like, hold on, sweetheart, I can't let you ride off like this. <laughs> You've been rolling around too long. The shoe in the corner is melting. He did. <laughs> you went. You got. We got to put extra speed on there. That man, look, that young, that young man. <laughs> 
He was he 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 created a spick and span right there in my car. Okay. It was like, and then that. I was trying to pay him. And I was like, he was like, no, 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 that's okay. You so pretty. And da, da, da. sir, you just put in some elbow grease work. Okay. And I was standing there, I said, like, on my phone, like not know. even paying attention, not even saying, not even <laughs> thinking about saying uh, just like, yeah, go ahead. You Two weeks later, somebody in this room, and it's not me or Earl, the producer. Uh, so that just lets you know who <laughs> it is. Says, Oh. So you just back to not caring about the car uh, because I mean, it was right back, <laughs> it like it never, right like ne like it never happened. I was so proud of like that. Like uh, it for, for that whole <laughs> two weeks, it was like, oh look at this, and then all of a sudden it was like, poof. Shoot, I mean the shoe closet is back for sure. Shoe closet, it was the a couple purses, of purses, uh, yes, some receipts, a Starbucks cup. Don't I see you going? <laughs> no, no, the receipt was stuck to the Starbucks cup. It was like some extra sticky. How did the console get back sticky? He had wiped it all down. How was it back sticky again? I never understood that, but hey. It was the frosty, uh, the slushy thing. Mm -hmm. Still, when I hit a speed bump. Mm -hmm. Okay, me. Slow man. your ass down then. All right, because y'all know me and driving. I got another question for y'all. And this one is like, for real, for real. Okay. I, I really want y'all input on this. Ben, if you still watching, huh, shut up, okay? <laughs> when you come across a woman who... You feel it. Like, you feel mm. like she's checking your boxes, right? Okay. What's important for you to get from her and to deposit into her? Mm. Good, and I'm going to I'm gonna elevate it. Okay. You cannot bring money into it. Oh, no. I, I wasn't okay, bringing good. money into it because money is, money is money. We all know what that is. But support. Okay. Affection. I'll say that on my list. Affection, okay. support, and communication. Okay. I need I need that open door policy to be able, you know what I'm saying, talk to you about just about any and everything until we get to the point where I can talk to you about any and everything and not feel judged about what I'm saying. Is that off the rip? No, that's not off the rip. Or is that's that after, after some time? That's after has some been, time. Okay. That's after some time. Off the rip, you just want somebody, you know what I'm saying, to be an adult and actually freaking communicate. There are some grown women out here who still refuse to communicate at this big grown mm. age of 40 plus. Why? If you I don't run know. across this broadcast, we are talking about you. <laughs> Just saying. Yes. I Communication not, is key. I do not understand, you know, saying why would you hold withhold information that could be vital to the situation? Absolutely. And that's the thing. A lot of people feel like I'm not going to say anything because I'm trying to spare you. But what you don't understand is I would rather you hurt Tell my feelings. Me. What's going on so we can all yeah. regroup? All right, let's figure this out. <clears throat> Absolutely, because I can't do nothing with what I don't know. True. I can't change what I don't know is a problem for you. And if you never com communicate, communicate, <laughs> communicate to me what your issues are, your expectations, how can we go anywhere past that? Not at all. So domestic duties. One thing people always be like is, um, well, you should cook. You, sh you should cook. You how you eat and what you eat, that's so minute. It's, it doesn't even matter, right? I think... I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Y'all. I mean, at know. this point, I was like, oh, there's gender roles. There's gender. No, no. Because okay, if you was living in a household by yourself, you'd be doing all this. Thank you. That's so why what can't you do this one day and do yes. that the next day? I mean, it should be like... We both see the dishes need to be done. All right, tag. It's your turn. All right, cool. I got it. All right. But just... I, I saw... I, I'm not speaking out of just, you know what I'm saying, what I... Wish and hope will be. I saw that in my own household. I saw my parents yeah. do that. I saw but, both my yeah, parents do. Too. You know what I'm saying? This and that. I, but I domestic duties is beyond cooking and cleaning. Yeah, it's just, you know what I'm Let saying? Let me just put it to you like this. Car maintenance. It's not just the, oh, put gas in your car or get an oil change. It's showing your woman, somebody like me, who pays no attention to alarms going off. None. The dashboard be looking like a Christmas tree. Lift and I'm just going to turn the radio. If so <laughs> you tried it. You had tried me today on this show. Shaking it. You be like, come if on, If there man. is an alarm or an alert that's going off, I just turn the radio how long, up. How long has that light been going off? For about three weeks. <laughs> I'm just uh, saying, that's me. Y'all might be different, but I, I mean, I'm just me. This is how I, this is how I roll. But it takes for a man to say, hey, at least let me show you what to watch out for. Because if certain things come up, it's no longer you got time. It's no, it's like any right minute now. now hey. Because it's going to be costly. It's going to continue to be costly. That part. Yeah. <clears throat> but not just money. that. It's understanding, too, about, like, 
the maintenance of things about the household. Yeah. Collectively. You know, she some need people... to be able to turn the hot she need to be able to turn the water off in the house if the hot water tank blow for a family. Yes. Like that. She need to know that. And then too, another thing is when we go when we bounce back between money management, it's like, look, a lot of people look at, oh, you gotta be equally yoked. And that's that's saying I think sometimes uh, people use that and just be talking. Like you exactly. don't even, you don't even, you don't even mean that. Yes. You don't even mean that. You just that saying doesn't mean that we both have to be on the same. That's not what that means. What that means is I can concede to my man that he's better at certain things and will allow me the grace to get to that point. That's equally yoked. If I don't know nothing about balancing the checkbook, keeping all the bills paid ahead of time, paying more than the minimum and building credit, let me shut up and let you do that. And, and then you can teach me in the and vice versa. Of that. Yeah, and vice yeah. versa. It should be the same thing. Absolutely. Like if you know your man, okay. <laughs> Uh-uh, not today. Not today, Say. What was you going to say? Nope. Gonna, mm-hmm. I'm do looking at it like it, this. Do if it, both do people it, are plus it, size it, sexy, it, right? It, <laughs> Shut up. It. If both people are plus size sexy, it can't just be, oh, I'm going to keep frying chicken three days a week, baby. No, nah, y'all going to end up in an early, early, early grade. You in the bed. Sleep. Early, early grade. And never waking up. Right. Early, early grade. So it has to be a, let's get on the same page. And that's going to start with the mentality. He's like, hey, let's just go for a couple of walks this week. Let's start off. Yeah. Let's start off real and make life. it fun. Right. Make it, you know. Right. Hey, ladies, especially my plus ass women. If y'all get them little cute little outfits, he gonna be like, oh, okay. You know what I'm just saying? So, and then it's hey, baby, let's take off for a walk. Come on. Right. Come on. Let's go. I'm going with you. Come on, let's go. You need to be out there by yourself. Right. You can't be it wearing it by yourself. It has to be yourself. more than that. So, when you dating, when I said at the beginning of the show, elevate everything, those are all included. Elevate what you look for. Elevate your expectations. It can't just be, he got to drive a nice car, but he got to have a car. Like, why? Why is it limited to he got to have or she got to do? Oh, I just said a word. for so Let me say that again. Why is it limited to he got to have or she has to do? Okay? It's more than that because it's it two be. people in that. It should be more than that. How are you going to sustain 20 years? How are you going to get to 20 days? Because you mess with me, you got 20 minutes. <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah. That's you got legit. 20 minutes that's when legit. you get to the point. That's legit. Like, that first conversation, you'd be like, I can see you rolling your eyes. I'm like, done. I'm like, I done. I can't believe. And fellas, whatever you do, if you ever get in her DM, if you ever slide in on something. Please don't I, say. Don't, do not say good morning, queen. Or, do not say good morning, beautiful. Thank do you. not say neat. Do not say either of those statements. Come with something a little original. Learn how to talk. Learn how to have a conversation. Because if please you come, use the right context of words. If you come with one of those, she gonna roast you first. And you will never hear from me again. Is she gonna let you? What you like? Well, I, I don't know. understand what she. I don't, she gonna just go. Don't, right. don't do it. Don't okay. do it. We got a comment from the audience. All I know is after a hard. I don't even want to continue reading this. <laughs> All I know is after a hard day's work, if I come home and she don't have a big bowl of cinnamon toast crunch prepared for me, <laughs> she got to go. Now, because you said cinnamon toast crunch, you're going to get a pass because that's my favorite cereal. But come on, man. You can fix it. You can pour your own bowl of cereal, sir. Okay? <laughs> stop stop, stop reducing that woman down to a, a capability that you can do yourself. You know, that doesn't. that's not her value. Can she make you forget about the pressures of your day? Can she build you up so that you feel like a man when you're not in the best circumstances? Can she provide that safe space for you? Can she? Because how important is that? You a black man? It's a huge thing because, first of all, we all get beat up on the outside. Yes. Once you step out your door in the morning, some it could be something you know what I'm saying to push you over the edge that day. You know what I'm saying? You this close from slapping somebody at your job office. You know, it it, can just be real. Just, just, I will say this too. As a me. woman, when you are investing your time into someone that you're dating, especially when it's new, there's going to be certain things that you're going to pick up on. Like yeah, how frequently he it. talks to you and what he says when he talks to you. Because anybody could send a, hey, you know what I'm saying? Anybody could send a, what's up? Anybody could say, <laughs> um, what you doing? And not even spell it out. Y'all know the other thing I hate, W-Y-D. You know what I'm saying? Let's build something before you hit me with that. Don't talk to me like that. Because you will not get answered. You know what I'm saying? Don't come with a rub, bro. 
Right. Don't, but once you build it. that connection and you kind of pick up on their mannerisms and how they handle when they're not happy, you can see it in the, the text. You don't have to, yeah. you know, you don't have to imply it means anything. You can just see something is different. And that's when you tap in and say, hey. That's when you just like, well, let, me, let me go ahead and like, hey, let me hold on. Let me check your temperature. Right. It's so simple as that because you could make up a million scenarios about something that is not even true. Oh, it must be a bit that he talking to that it could go, be. It go left real quick, don't it? Real it quick. goes left real quick. But sometimes she be right. It do be a, it do be another female. If it but was women, whatever. if it was women intuition, why one telling you one shit from the beginning? Mm. This for you. If you come across this, bro. <laughs> If you come if it was across woman's intuition, this broadcast, that's what that's anyone, anyone was like. It was women intuition. Why did that your radar didn't go on when you first met him? But they don't, it don't even be the intuition. At some point, it just be the ignoring the red flags. Out of whatever you and don't 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 beat me up, women. If you see the red flags and you don't address them, that's on you. If the, if it progresses, if it to seems, else. yeah. Because that means at this point, yes, I see that he's flawed or not meeting my standards, but I'm accepting where he's at. I'm not requiring him to rise up. I'm going to let him stay where he's at. And that's good enough for me. So if it's good enough for you in January uh, 2023, it should be good enough in September one until you do what? Most, Say it's not good enough no more. One of the greatest statements I've heard from somebody. This is one of my friends. Um, her mom mm -hmm, was telling me. This is way, I'm way, way back, back in the day. And you know, saying we were talking about marriage and everything like that. I was like, don't you supposed to see, aren't you supposed to see the potential in your potential wife or your husband? And she was like, Yeah, but potential is something that may never be reached. There you go. We talked about may that never on be this reached. Show too. You can actually regress from the point you you can fall back from where you at. Or you yeah. can just give up. Yeah, Simply somebody give can give up. up. You know, so you know, I got to put look, my whole life in school, my parents went to go pick up my report cards. It was two words, don't teach you said faithfully, religiously, consecutively throughout talking. kindergarten through. She has the potential to do if she would just stop talking. talking. <laughs> she was never shut. And look what it led to. Well, look what it led to. Shout out to the paraprofessional that wrote in my home, uh, homeroom class that said she need a she's going. I can see you on TV. <laughs> well, you can actually now, you know, on a couple of uh things. But I'm saying to me, I, I get it. It's scary, especially because I, as a woman dealing with women, sometimes I. I'm like, oh no, it's too much. And I'm like, I don't want to deal with it. But um, you have to stand your ground. First of all, again, I say this, this okay. every show too. Let me ask you this. Sorry. Know who you are. Do you do you check your homegirls about some of the treatment they give to their men? Like, you was wrong for that. Like, you shouldn't have done that. Do you ever check your homegirls? I'm talking about, you know what I'm saying? You know she's dead wrong. Do you yes, ever say, I do. You shouldn't have done that. You, you I don't check little... her because I don't feel like you can police adults. True. Or true, your peers. True. I don't feel like you can. But you, know, you can say you. You. Can, but you can give a different perspective. You can check. Now, you can check your, your close. Your close. You can tell them like. You can tell me if I'm wrong. Like I tell you if you're wrong. You can check. You don't never check on your homegirls. Say. Yeah, I'd be like, now, girl, you know that was a little bit too much. You went too far. Stuff like that. Yes, but I don't ever say now. You know you should not have or you should do this because that's you in that you're putting yourself in that situation. True. You know what I'm saying? You can't walk in somebody else's shoes. And true. Say, well, and what works in their household do. don't work in yours. There you go. True. True. But I also feel like. Bring my okay. What? Thank you. What? Um, <laughs> Bring what? He's talking crazy to me. <laughs> I'm gonna fight you. I'm I'm coming to Bellwood today. I will fight you. Anyway, I'm gonna say this. I feel like men will justify leaving before they stand and fight for what they think is right. Sometimes mm, if you it depends. Fight, on, it depends on the man. It depends on the man. It depends on the man. I okay, well, let me say this. When you, when it's time to communicate or close the chapter, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, she done did something that you know you can't come back from. Then you got to come right out with it. You got to shoot straight, do to, you know? straight to the forehead. Bah! I can't do this no more. I'm sorry, sweetheart. It was fun while it lasted. I hope everything works out for you, but I'm gone. My There's spending night bag is gone. I'm taking the books. I you had keep over it. Yeah, you keep that toothbrush. You know what I'm saying? That shower cap, I don't need that. Girl, I, I don't need that shower cap. But I'm going to you to run me that blow dryer. But look, I am going to take my favorite blanket that you want me to off your couch. Give me that throw blanket, girl. You damn right I'm taking that blanket. I'm taking that blanket. I don't wrap. You, you're going to be wrapped up with nobody else in this blanket. It, I guarantee you that. It is I'm certain words that. that Q and I made a pact. To never and blanket was one of so 
I, I will spare him cussing him out on this uh, broadcast. <laughs> But I'm gonna just say this: He petty when it comes to blankets, I, and I'm that's hey, all look, I'm gonna say. Look, petty throw blankets are meant to be where they're at on my couch, not adding to somebody else's collection. That man will frisk you. I, I know you got the blanket, yo. Just put the blanket just, back. Just put the blanket in the basket and run through the scanner. That's all you got to do. <laughs> but I will say this: when you when you run across a man who can communicate, it's a beautiful thing. It's a and and I can't help. But latch on to that because I'm a communicator. I hear that so much. I and when from, I don't communicate, it, that means I ain't, I don't care I about what you get going on. My female friends like, yo, where? Why don't they talk? Why don't yeah. they know how to talk? Why don't they know how to talk? Why don't I'm like, fellas, just join the rejoin the art of conversation. I mean, it's not all about you know what I'm saying. You, I'm gonna slide. You gonna let me slide? Mm. I I would say that. You gonna I let me slide. Because <laughs> you know you've heard that like. You don't let me slide. Like that's your that's your dialogue. That's something you got to say. You don't have no you no know, presentation leading up to it. You just let me slide. Well, a lot of people feel like they can get by on their gift of gab. True. And I I want I want to say this true, to the men. Okay, let me tell y'all this. The conversation you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, can captivate you them for a while. You gotta say something how to get the gab. You can't just say let me slide. That ain't the, that ain't no well, gift of gab. To some people, you gotta understand. Some women don't have a lot of uh standards. You know, oh, damn. they ain't really going that far. Damn. Ladies. But I'm gonna say this. You can be a great conversationalist. And yes, that is a good trait to have. But that can't be the only trick in the bag. No, it can get you in the door, though. That's it. It can get you in now the door. Now, what you going to do? How are you going to? It can pique her interest. But will that captivate her? No. It won't. It may not. No. It's, it's not going to. But you'll stand above the crowd for shit, sure. You'll stand above the crowd. She didn't got three. What you but doing? Stand, but there got, could be three people standing above the crowd for different reasons. True, but she got she got fourteen. What are you doing? Messages right now from random dudes. So how do you set yourself apart? You from actually that? have I a conversation with her. I mean, like a real legit, like everyday conversation. Let's you know what I'm saying. That's us. Everyday conversation. Every day. You saw that plug. You saw that plug. Plug you us. Saw that plug. Everywhere we go. We got t-shirts coming. They're gonna be on Madison with the bottle of water. Um, <laughs> I forgot it. Uh, gonna be out there selling them. But I got. I want y'all to think about something else. When you start, when you run across a man that know what he doing, know how to be who he is, and he ain't trying to be nobody but him. Appreciate that, cause un- not appreciating it is what's gonna run him to the door. Whether quickly. you whether you feeling him like that or not, <clears throat> appreciate who he said he yeah. is. But I don't care what kind of. Pipe he laying. Don't let that man live in your house. <clears throat> Don't let him move in. You know several women right now who've done that. Did you tell them that too? Mm-hmm. You told them that too? I, I tell anybody. Are they still living with him? Mm-hmm. Then I guess they couldn't, the conversation couldn't have been that stellar because they still get It don't matter. All field. I can do is give you the advice. Now how you take it? That's you can lead a horse to water. But you sure can't make them drink. All right. July. We got a new series coming up and this one going to be fun. It's all for the entrepreneurs and get into the bag, baby. We going to the lab. Anything you want to say to the people before we get up out of here? It's been a great month. Next one is going to even be better. Bigger uh, and better. Bigger and better. Y'all keep looking for us. You know what I'm saying? We're going to keep looking for y'all. Make sure you all are following Intellectual Radio on Facebook. Make sure you're following Intellectual Radio on Instagram, on YouTube. Because not just is this show, this amazing show on their network, there are a lot of great Shows a lot of good content, some informational, some serious stuff, some clowning around too. But you need the balance of it. So, you know, everybody got a voice, and a lot of people are using their voice to say what they need that what they feel needs to be said. Okay. So, if you want to be on the show, inbox me at Channy Bonita on Facebook and Instagram. Um, but please don't waste my time. Okay, let me go. She, Let's she, go for that. She had to, she gonna have to filter you out to her DMs because you know yeah. she's like, Play is this time real? is over with. Is this real? Is this real? Is this yeah, real? Yeah, and Stop I would hate to with. make a meme of you on um on She'll the show. Do it. So anything you want to plug people do. where they can find you at on social media? No, not yet. I'm scared of the people. Now when I tag him <laughs> in this, <laughs> I gave just know I gave you the opportunity. Okay. This bit. He ain't coming back. That's okay. I'm coming back. I'm coming back. All right, she, y'all. She, she, I like she don't be missing me when I'm not here. Y'all hear this? I'm coming back. Uh, I miss you like I miss some cicadas. God. I saved your life from a <laughs> cicada. You better stop it. You be, okay, how many pants on the back do you want for that? I, for your life. That's a All lifetime right. life. 
We out of here, y'all. Thank you, and see y'all next week. Hey, Jew. I'm mad at you, but all right. <laughs> Thank y'all. Really Build our own foundation. Uh-huh. Get the kids a real education. Throw us in rotation. We sick and tired of being patient. No clowns, no animation. No. Just some everyday conversation. We don't need your reparations. All we need is each other to escape the plantation. Everyday conversations. Uh, everyday conversations. Huh? We try to wake up the nation. Huh? We gonna build a foundation. Everyday conversations. Everyday conversations. We try to wake up the nation. Uh huh. We gonna build a foundation. Everyday clothes are coming soon, you feel me?